Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys the product. No, not the product rule. I taught you guys that already. Fuck. I'm going to teach you guys the quotient rule. If you haven't seen the product rule video, I made a video earlier. So check it out if you don't know what the product rule is. But I'm going to teach you the quotient rule right now, which is basically you have two functions in the form of this y equals f of x over g of x. So, basically, if you want to find the derivative, all you do is you just go f prime x times g of x take away f of x times g prime of x over g x squared so basically all you do is you take the derivative of this put it here take the function g of x put it in there and take the original function and put it here and take the derivative of this put it there and square this square the g which is on the bottom and put it here unlike the product rule there's it's a negative because of because of this you could actually use the product rule if you take this and you go y equals f of x times g of x to negative one then you could do the product rule which I taught you earlier or you learned in class and when you do the product rule you would actually get the same answer and you get a negative here and this too would show up because when you take the derivative of a negative one you get negative two which is just one over be like g of x the squared so basically that's why how the product rule can be applied to the quotient rule but anyways the quotient rule is this I'll do an example of it for you guys in a bit wow that was fast Okay, so now we're going to do a quotient rule example. I'll just do an easy example because I don't want you guys to get confused right off the bat. Okay, so let's do 1 made of x squared 1 plus x squared, which is actually quite easy and you could probably factor that out and that's too small for the thing. So we'll just do that again. 1 made of x squared squared is 1 plus x squared. So basically, oh, I hit the fucking thing there. Sorry for the swear in there. So f prime of x, which is this, is f of x. This is g of x. So f prime of x equals negative 2x. g prime of x equals 2x. So, and now we do the quotient rule. Which is f prime times g negative f times g prime over g squared. And that, from that you get negative 2x times 1 plus x squared that's all in the bracket negative 1 negative negative x squared times 2x over 1 plus x squared. Basically, you're done. That's the answer, but if you want to be more precise and you want to factor it out, which I'll, I'll just do it real quick. So y prime equals okay, so that'd be that's 4x over 
and oh yeah, this this right here is squared. You gotta remember that. Even I forget that sometimes. You lose fucking easy marks for that. Sorry about the language again. You want x squared plus two. This should be the right answer, unless I screwed up somewhere in the simplification. But I don't think I did, cause I learned a trick with these. But I don't think I can teach you guys a trick, cause it'll kind of confuse you. So if you guys know a trick to factor really good. Just factor it out. But if you don't know a trick, just leave it like this. They can't really take marks away. Because this really is the answer here. This is just simplified. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a good day.